All right, so I just want to tell you guys a quick story tonight about how I learned about the circle of life through 13 different hamsters. So <laughs> I really liked animals as a kid. I was planning to be a vet. I knew that animals were my thing. I had a dog when I was, you know, six until well into college. And we had three dogs in the house. But when I was about 10, I convinced my mom that I should get hamsters, okay? Despite the fact that one of those dogs was a rat terrier. So I'm so excited to go to PetSmart and pick out one little hamster. Got a whole little system of those tubes that you could have. I was going to create a whole tube city, if you've ever seen The Office. Um, that was my plan. It was going to be amazing. We got this thing home, and it dies within the next 24 hours. So I cry big, sobbing tears of the 10-year-old who cannot believe that her hamster has died. So the next day, my mom takes us back to PetSmart. We get another hamster, come back to the house. That one lives for a little while. But then, of course, it gets out of its cage and disappears. Who knows what that means? My parents found it, didn't tell me, but it's just gone. Then I cried again, big, huge tears. So my mom takes me back to PetSmart. We buy another one of these little things. Third, fourth one, gets sick, dies, crying, big tears. Then we get another one that might last a little bit longer. And again, I accidentally am cleaning the cage and I set it on the ground and the dog gets it. Learn another lesson. This repeats itself over and over. Go to PetSmart, get a new hamster, get it home. Somehow it dies over and over. Now, one of these Kevin will um, appreciate was not my fault entirely. It was Kyla's fault. Uh, we were carrying around, you know, the hamsters have those little balls they run in. So I was really excited to have this hamster in a ball. And anyway, so I was like letting it run around. This is one that lasted like two weeks. I was like, yes, I'm doing good. I've got this hamster. We're going to make it. Um, but then, of course, we were trying to carry it downstairs to that house, and Kyla has this hamster in a thing, and she trips, falls down the stairs with this hamster in the ball over and over and over, hits the bottom, hamster's gone. So this continues. Big tears, pet smart, new hamster. Big tears, pet smart, new hamster. Over and over and over again. Until eventually my mom is like, okay, maybe we should stop going to PetSmart because these hamsters keep getting sick and dying. Some of these weren't all my fault. So at the very end, we, got, we went to an actual hamster breeder. This is after months of me trying to keep a hamster alive. And did you know there's such thing as like actual hamster breeders? <laughs> this is a big teddy bear hamster. And she suggested that we, we get two of them. She said that was the problem. My hamsters were lonely, okay? So she thinks I need to get two hamsters when I can't keep one alive. So I got two teddy bear hamsters and they're pretty big. These things are so cool. I keep them alive and they're great for like two months, which in my 10 year old brain was really long, right? These guys are my best friends. And then one of the hamsters got pregnant, right? So it turned out that actually I had a male and a female and one of them was pregnant. Now, of course, you're probably thinking, why didn't you or your parents Google what to do when your hamster gets pregnant? I don't know, but I will tell you what you don't do. What you don't do is ignore it and keep them in the cage together because that was really bad. So I walk into the room one day all excited because I've kept my hamsters alive for two months and all there is is blood everywhere. They were just eating everything, it was horrible. So I grab the male hamster, I throw it on the floor, and I'm trying to save the mom and the babies. I'm like, I'm gonna do CPR, we're gonna save your life. And then immediately, my dog runs in there and eats the male. <laughs> Everybody died. It was horrible. I never got another hamster. 